I've always painted and drawn my whole life and all of my aunts and uncles um, on my mother's side have drawn and painted. Um, my father is a sculptor. Out of high school I thought I was going to become a, a successful musician and after about six months of that I decided I needed to go to school. <laughs> And so I enrolled in first in community classes there in, in Syracuse, and then I uh, applied to the Institute of American Indian Arts after that. But at the time, the fall semester had closed for studio classes, and they asked me if I did anything else, so I said that I was a writer. So I got an IA for writing, and I spent um, most of my time there in the writing track. And I started taking painting as an elective, and then slowly but surely, I started to not turn in my writing assignments and spend more time in the painting studio. And that's kind of really where I started to seriously think about doing um, two-dimensional art as a profession. I've always wanted to make the people coming behind me not have to deal with the same issues that I do. My work is kind of geared towards making it a little bit easier for the artist behind me to make the work they want to make and not have to be so hung up on, you know, is it, is it Indian enough, is it Native enough, is it Southwestern enough? In one way, artistically, it's, it's kind of exciting because there's all of this sort of attention on the subject right now and then there's all of these things happening that sort of gives me fuel for new paintings. Um, but from a personal standpoint, it's really sad. It's so sad. It's 2012 and we're, you know, we're, we're having to deal with um, Victoria's Secret models wearing panties and headdresses and, you know, basically making fun of, you know, Native Americans. It's interesting that it's become relevant in this time where, you know, there was a period of five or ten years where Native Americans were, were writers and, and uh, actors and filmmakers that were sort of making strives to sort of step out of that stereotype and become more of a, a, a four-dimensional um, you know, accurate representation of what it's like to be a contemporary Native American. Given the recent things happening in, in popular culture, I mean, we, any ground that we think we've gained uh, as in the popular media has been lost. And I think the only way we can get that foothold and hold it is if we start owning our own images and making um, our own statements about our identities. I'm one of those hopeless, naive artists or romantics that thinks that art can change the world even if it's just a little bit at a time. So if I do my part, my friends do their part, and you know, the kids coming up behind us do their part, in 20, 30, 40 years, you know, we will have changed something. My name is Frank Buffalo Hyde, and I'm a painter.